Hey, Mathletes. Here we are in the last lesson of this unit. It's called higher order derivatives. The good news is we end off on a little easy lesson, okay? Um, which is always a nice way to end a unit, right? Usually units end with something really difficult. Not here, okay? All we're gonna do here, friends, when we hear the term higher order differentiation is means we're just gonna take the derivative more than once. Where we'll usually stop taking the derivative is if you see this term here, you see the, the squared, it means we're going to take the derivative twice. We can take the derivative an infinite amount of times. Okay, we'd say that we take the derivative n times and we would write it like this if we wanted to do something crazy, but we won't do that. Okay, we'll stop at the second derivative. And the reason why, friends, is remember taking the first derivative is finding us the slope of the line of the tangent line, or it's telling us the instantaneous rate at that moment. So that's the speed at that moment. So the second derivative, guess what? We're gonna find out is gonna tell us acceleration. Oh, cool, hey? So we'll stop at the second derivative, but sometimes just for giggles, you'll be asked to do beyond the second. Okay, here we go. Let's take the second derivative of all of these. So if I wanna write it in, my prime notation, if my pen wanted to work, there we go. We would write it like that. So F prime, so there's my first one. So all I do when I'm taking the second derivative is I just do the same thing twice. And I'm just gonna write two primes for double prime. And so 20 X cubed minus eight. So that's it friends. When you're taking the higher order derivative, you're just repeating your steps. That's all friends. Okay, where it can start to get ugly is on stuff like the next one here. So I'm just gonna rewrite this right away. I'm not sure if this is gonna get ugly or not, but when we start having to use maybe the quotient rule or the chain rule, that's where the, the questions start to get a little nasty. So I take the derivative, so the derivative of two t is two, but on the second term here, I need to use the chain rule. So it's gonna be minus times negative one is plus one t plus one subtract one is minus two. So now I'm gonna do the second derivative. Well, the derivative of two is zero, derivative of one times t plus one to the negative two. So one times negative two is negative two, t plus one to the negative three. And let's write that of course with a positive exponent, okay? So not too bad, right? Like you're seeing, okay, you're like, yeah, okay, it's the same rule, I'm just repeating it, right? There's not too much to it. Okay, g at t is equal to this. So again, you don't have to, but I found over the years, I just find it easier just to rewrite that rational exponent like that. Okay, so g prime at t, so four times negative a half is negative two, t to the negative three halves and repeat, so g double prime at t, so negative two times negative three halves is six over two, like that, t to the negative five halves. And so now all we're gonna do, friends, is just simplify this. So g double prime at t, well, that's three. And then I'm gonna rewrite that as either just a positive exponent like that, or I would rewrite it like that. Same, same, but different. They're the same thing. Okay, um, last one. So the last one I'm noticing is gonna be chain rule. So this will be the nastiest one today we look at. So G, Y prime, sorry, eight times two X plus one to the power seven. Again, what I'll see is a lot of students just stop there and they'll go down to Y double prime. No, 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 no. Chain rule times the derivative of the inside is two. So now I'm going to simplify this before I take the derivative of that. And now I'll take the chain rule, derivative again, take the chain rule. So 16 times 7, 2x plus 1 to the exponent 6 times 2 again, right? And so now I'm just going to simplify this down. So what's that? It's going to be 16 times 14. I don't know. My brain's broken. What's 16 times 14? Right? I don't know. I don't have a calculator with me, right? Calculators are the work of the devil. No, they're not. Uh, what is that? 224. So y double prime is 224. 
2x plus 1 to the exponent 6. There it is. Okay, now as I'm kind of rambling on a little bit about calculators, it's really, really important, friends, that depending on where you take math again from here, so say you're going to go to some universities or post secondary, whatever you're doing, you know, I need you to be aware that sometimes you're not getting a calculator, not even a scientific one. Okay, so if that's the case, what I really need you to be good at is fractions without a calculator. And I mean, even just some, what I'm gonna call simple math there, like doing some multiplying and stuff. So take the time to practice, right? Multiply, practice multiplying. You haven't probably done multiplying, you know, in a long, long time um, by hand maybe, right? And so it's something that when you're doing these things, don't just revert back to picking up your calculator. I want you to practice doing, okay? So just a little food for thought as you're going through this. There it is, friends, higher order derivatives.